Welcome to Getting Started with Artifact Registry. In this video series, I'm going to walk you through setting up some common use cases for Artifact Registry. But before I get into how to get started, it probably makes sense to tell you what Artifact Registry is. Artifact Registry manages your container images and language packages while integrating with Cloud's build, test, and deploy suite, and third-party CI-CD systems. If you're familiar with Container Registry, you're thinking Artifact Registry sure sounds similar. And you're right. Artifact Registry is the next generation of Container Registry. Container Registry has provided a single place for your team to manage Docker images, perform vulnerability analysis, and decide who can access what with fine-grained access control. Existing CI-CD integrations let you set up fully automated Docker pipelines to get fast feedback. In an effort to build upon this powerful foundation, Google Cloud created Artifact Registry. Artifact Registry offers even more fine-grained permissions, allowing you to control access at the project or registry level. You can create multiple regional repositories within a single Google Cloud project. You can create multiple repos under a project with independent registry-specific permissions, so you have control over where artifacts are stored and who can access them. After hearing about Artifact Registry, I bet you can't wait to get started. Let's walk through the steps using a hypothetical company I've created, Drain. Drain is autonomous, artificially intelligent, voice-enabled plumbing for the modern home. I'll make Drain part of your pipeline using Artifact Registry in the software pipeline. Now, if you don't think that's like a little bit funny, this is gonna be a long video series for you. You can create a new repository, list existing repositories, and configure access controls through the GCP console or through the gcloud command line tool. Today, I'm using gcloud. To find out about setting up the gcloud CLI, check out the guide link below. All right, let's get started. First, you'll need a Google Cloud project with billing enabled. You can use an existing project or create a new one. Next, enable the Artifact Registry API in the console. Then, open a new terminal window. To create a new repository, type your gcloud command in this format, where repository is the name of your new repository, format is the repository format, which is either Docker, Maven, or NPM, location is the regional or multi-regional location for the repository, and you can leave this out if you've set a default location, and description is an optional description of the repository. Including the async flag causes the command to return immediately without waiting for the operation in progress to complete. So, for example, here's a command from my drain app. My repository is called drain pipe. It's a Docker container. The location I've chosen is US Central 1, and I've included this description so I can easily track the contents of my repositories. And here is the result. To view a list of repositories, you'll want to run this command where project is the project ID. If you don't include this flag, then the current or default project is used. Use the location flag to view repositories from a specific location. You can also use location all to list repositories across all locations. If you leave out the location flag, the command uses the default location if a default is configured. And if there isn't a default location, leaving out this flag lists repositories across all locations. So, when I run the command without a project or location, I'm shown my current project here. As you can see, creating and viewing your repositories is super simple. But before you dive headlong into Artifact Registry, you have one very important consideration, security. If you currently use any GCP products, you're probably at least somewhat familiar with the roles associated with access controls. The most basic roles are owner, editor, and viewer. And although you can use these primitive project-wide owner, editor, and viewer roles to grant access to repositories, using specific artifact registry roles enables you to apply the security principle of least privilege so that users and service accounts only have access to the permissions that are required. For example, the artifact registry dot reader role allows a user to view and get artifacts just from a specific project's repositories, whereas the role slash reader role allows a user to view and get any existing resources and data from all cloud components of the project. To grant a permission for a user, naturally, you grant a role that includes that permission. Where appropriate, 
you should use the artifact registry roles to control access to your repositories rather than those project-wide roles. You can grant these artifact registry roles reader, writer, repository administrator, and administrator. Let's grant some roles for the repository we just made for my completely fake company, Drain. Again, I'm using the gcloud CLI because it rocks. To add roles via the CLI, I need to create a reference policy file named policy.yaml. In that file, I start with the bindings key. Then I name a role and list members. Here's a more complete reference policy example. Notice I have an owner for the whole project and then artifact registry specific roles. For reader, you can see there is a service account with read privileges and a specific user with read privileges. You can find a complete reference template in the documentation, which contains more example user and service account names. To add a team member to a project and grant them an artifact registry role, I add them to the policy file. Then from the command line, I run this command, passing the name of the project and the path to my .yaml file. To get the currently configured policy, I run gcloud projects get im policy, passing the name of the project. And there you have it. You're ready to create a new repository, list existing repositories, and configure access controls for Artifact Registry. But there's so much more to know about Artifact Registry. Stay tuned for future episodes of Getting Started with Artifact Registry. And to see a guide on these tasks and so much more, check out the documentation. I'll see you next time.